glory, honor, and adoration to our God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we are grateful for sustenance and preservation of our lives. For the first half of this year, the month of July, we thank you for victory of all kind in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ancients of the We bless your mighty name. Amen and amen. Our Bible reading for today is taken from Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 20. Isaiah 43, 18 to 20. I read. It says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the whole things. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And 20, he said, The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the hoes, because I will give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drinks to my people, my chosen. Thank you for your Lord, word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. May this word of God find faith in you and come to pass speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Wow, what a great month. We want to welcome you, all our beloved viewers, to this new month of July, the seventh month. Seven implies rest, all around rest, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray you will enjoy rest in every situation, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will cease from struggle, and your realm shall be quiet, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. He who can speak and come to pass has promised a new thing. As we read in our Bible text for today. He said in his word, it shall be sudden. I pray for you. You shall receive an unexpected honor in the mighty name of Jesus. He also said, it shall not be hidden. That is, it shall be tangible visible all eyes shall see in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father thank you jesus amen i decree as nothing cover the glory of the sun no one shall be able to cover your glory in the mighty name of jesus the world will rejoice in your testimony in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord thank you jesus beloved i pray there shall be relocation of powers, position, wealth, resources this season as declared by God through our Father in the Lord in this holy platform. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen and amen. And this has nothing to do with your background. This new blessings, new package has nothing to do with your race. It has nothing to do with your qualifications or achievement. It is just pure for God's glory. I pray you will not miss out in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. He will give you a new name. You, you will be strategically positioned in a new place of authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. My beloved, in that your trial, that same situation of yours, it will make a way for your success. In the mighty name of Jesus, that is beyond woman understanding and belief. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God will turn your lack to abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you thinking within you? I don't deserve it. I would like to congratulate you. That is exactly what makes you qualify as a candidate for this new package of a new thing. It is just for his glory. 
dear viewer, it is just for his glory. God does not miss his word. If you check it very well, the first thing he said in his word was that, according to that verse 18, before the new prom before the, the new promise, he said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. I want to beg you, stop dwelling in your past. Remember not the former thing according to the word of God. Neither consider not the old garments. Stop dwelling in them. New things are emerging. Come out of it. Come out from that your evil thought. Where you have caged yourself. And go to where God is taking you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. The woman in John 4, verse 28. If you study very well. She dropped her pot. When she had an encounter with Jesus. Come out, my below, from where the from where the world is calling you. Go to where God is preparing for you. Do not dwell in your mistake. Do not at all. Not in your disappointment. Have you lost your job in this crisis? Do not consider it as a failure. Our Jesus never fail. You can never fail. Come out of it. Enter into your new joy. Your new place of honor. Your new rest of package that the Lord has packaged for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hebrew 12 verse 1. Let's open our Bible. Hebrew 12 verse 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed, about we so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which doth so easily beset us. Let us run with patience and rest that is said before us. Beloved, every of our past that is reminding us, you, me, of our life, your life in Egypt, I have it. Drop them. Consider them not, says the Lord in our Bible text for today. So that you can be light. When you drop them, you'll be light. And also have enough space to carry what God has in stock for you. I pray God will open a great new door of promotion for you this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. To qualify for this new thing, according to verse 20 of our test. The only thing you must do. You must be among God's people. Among his chosen. This simply means to be at the Lord's side. If you look at the story of the Levites. The Levites was under a curse by their father, Jacob. But when Moses returned from the presence of God with the Ten Commandments, the camp was divided. And Moses said, Who is on the Lord's side? And the Levites that, that had been caused came to the Lord's side. Do you know what happened? Immediately, God reversed their causes to blessings. Hallelujah. I do not know, and I don't want to know, how long you have been in that situation. Only one thing I want you to do. If you can come to the Lord's side now, tomorrow by the two late, now, in a what short confession, by saying within you, let your heart be connected to heaven. Say within you, say, Lord Jesus, I have heard about you, that you had the way. I confess you as the only beholding Son of God, and I surrender all to you. Come and be my Lord and my personal Savior. In faith, I confess. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. I rejoice with you. 
it will make you a partaker of this new package in the mighty name of jesus he will wipe away your mistakes and error in the mighty name of jesus he will put aright everything that is faulty in your background in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father thank you the ancients of this we give you all the glory lord for in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen for your testimonies prayers agreement and counseling you can see our contact on the screen join us next week thursday by his grace for another edition of faith clinic till then stay connected and god bless you in jesus mighty name amen